Zoe the noob is a scammer. Wait, is she really? This was a highly requested video, so let's find out. Zoe the noob is a Roblox editor with over 1 million subscribers. This drama began when she uploaded a video informing her viewers about an edit contest that she was hosting. For those of you that are unaware, an edit competition is where a YouTuber gives you some raw footage of them dancing for you to screen record, and then you must edit the clip yourself. It's an amazing idea, however there is usually a lot of controversy after the winners of the contest are announced, with some people stating that it is unfair. But what has this got to do with Zoe the noob? Well, as I've said, she is hosting one of these competitions. Unfortunately I can't play the video due to copyright, but I can show you some screenshots. The video was titled 10k edit comp, which is honestly quite a lot of Robux. So obviously, many people wanted to enter this contest. However, a handful were left disappointed. In the instructions, Zoe the noob told her viewers that they must record a video of their Roblox avatar dancing, which isn't a problem. But she then went on to say that you must be wearing her UGC now, this is the problem. Her UGC costs 75 Robux. Some people don't have enough Robux to buy it, therefore they can't enter the competition, and many people found this unfair. I mean, she's basically using this competition as an excuse to make people buy her UGC so that she can get more Robux. I can understand why people are upset. If I were a huge fan of her channel then I would have been disappointed too. Oh but obviously that isn't a problem for me because I have plenty of Robux. Let's pretend you didn't see that. Anyway, there is another problem with the edit contest, the prizes. In the title she says that it is a 10k edit comp. This is implying that the winning prize is 10,000 Robux. But in reality, the 10,000 is split between the top three winners. First place gets 5,000, second place gets 3,000 and third place gets 2,000. It's still a good prize, but I feel like this shouldn't be called a 10k edit competition if you're not giving the winner 10 grand. Oh yeah, and before I forget, let's talk about the probability of winning. Zoe has 1 million subscribers, so thousands of people are probably going to join the contest. Some of them will have amazing edits, and others may have average ones. Out of those thousands of people, only three will be rewarded. So is it really worth buying her UGC and entering the competition if the odds are mainly against you? I'm not trying to put anyone off. If you want to enter her contest then go ahead, no one is stopping you. I just feel like it's wrong. You're kind of scamming your viewers by giving them the false hope of winning just so that they buy your UGC. I think this is totally messed up, but you may think differently. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, love you all. Bye.